Happy New Year's, everyone. We are here. We have made it into 2019. So that means I didn't get to do a haul yet for December. So we, this is my December haul slash Christmas Blu-ray haul and some other little cool things that I did get in the month of December. Again, Happy New Year's to you guys. This is going to be an excellent year. Tons of goals in mind for this channel and for just in general of living life. Maybe you get a little bit muscular and bigger. I'm wearing my little New Year's shirt. So this is going to be fun, guys. Again, let me know down below. What did you guys get in the month of December? What did you guys get for Christmas, Hanukkah? Kwanzaa, whatever you guys happen to celebrate in December, I'd love to hear about it down below and have a great discussion with you guys. Plus, if you guys are new here, consider hitting that like and subscribe button because over here we do hauls, trailer reactions, tr movie reviews, any sort of thing that has to do with movies, it happens over on this channel. And do also look out, I am going to be doing a Blu-ray collection soon and a pop haul collection soon. I've been promising you guys that for a while. It's been I've been slumped, but it is coming sometime later this week into early next week so do look out for that guys again thank you guys so much for all the support and let's get into this haul well the things in this video are not going to be just blu-rays a majority of it will be but i do want to give some shout outs to some of the other things that i got that i think are pretty interesting and also happen to do with geeky culture and movie stuff uh one of them is the wolf of wall street uh script it's, it was a four-year consideration. This is really cool. And Wolf of Wall Street's my favorite film of all time, so my mom got to hook it up with that. And also the Inception shooting script. Now, I'm a big fan of Inception. I'm a big fan of Wolf of Wall Street. So getting both these scripts was kind of like a dream come true. If I'm even talking about other things that I did receive, I did receive all the Preacher graphic novels. Now, I'm a big fan of the show, and I've been wanting to really get into these graphic novels, so I did get all the graphic novels, which is really cool. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys also know that I'm a big fan of the Walking Dead graphic novels, and I finally got the rest of them, so I'm finally able to catch up on what's going on in the Walking Dead world. I'm really excited to catch up on this, because again, if you have been following me, I'm a kind of a fan of the show still, and this season has really won me back, so... I'm glad to be getting to these novels again and really kind of just investing myself because I've always been a fan of The Walking Dead world and the characters within it. Of course, I have one more big book to show you guys, and that is the Avengers Infinity War art book. Now, this thing is beautiful inside. Like, I can't wait till I have my own home and I can set it out on a coffee table when someone comes up. They're like, I want to read that, and I'm like... Please read it. Please, it's beautiful. The last few things that aren't book related at all or reading material, it is this pop of an alien to vaulted. You can't find this pop anywhere else. It's one of my favorite pops I've found. Um, I got this dude for way under what he's usually worth. He's worth like 200 bucks or so, and I got him like, I want to say 50%, 65%, including coupons. So this was a nice deal. It was nice to just find this sitting in a little shop, and I'm like, Thank you so much. I also, you guys know I'm a big fan of video games, so I did get some new video games. I got Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which I didn't really like the last Assassin's Creed, but this one has actually kept my attention. I'm actually really digging the atmosphere and the story within it, and again, it's Spartan, so I'm a big fan of 300, so it kind of has that mix to it. Um, I also got Super Mario Party, which Mario Party games are always fun. I got The World Ends With You, a DS game that I always wanted to play, but they finally remastered it for the Switch, so now I get to play it. They also got Super Smash Brothers. Guys, everyone knows that I love Super Smash Bros. This is easily one of my favorite games of the year so far. I have a blast with this game. I already have all the characters. And now I'm just getting real competitive with it. Got to get a bunch of friends to kick some ass in this. And then the last game that I got was probably the most surprising game. And I did not think I would be putting so many hours or being so addicted to it. But it's actually Let's Go Pokemon or Let's Go Pikachu. It's... It's the remastered version of Pokemon Yellow, but instead of catching Pokemon normally how you do, it's like, let's go Pokemon on the phone. And it is very relaxing. It's easy, but it's fun and gets you into it. And it's a whole Pokemon world. And sometimes it gets a little bit intense, but you kind of find compulsive reasons, or at least I do, to catch the Pokemon and go out and hunt more and battle people. And it really is just a fun game. This is one of the biggest surprises for me of the year. I did not think I was going to like this game as much, and I'm having a blast with it. We're getting to my Blu-rays, though, and the first Blu-rays that I got is the Iron Man Trilogy Collection. Now, I've always had these films on DVD. I've never upgraded to Blu-ray yet. I have it now, thanks to my mom. Thank you so much. And I really just, I'm a big fan of almost all the Iron Man films. I'm a fan of pretty much a majority of the MCU films. I enjoy them for aspects that they all have, and I think none of them are really stonkers yet. They're all pretty damn good, and the Iron Man trilogy is pretty good. I'm, I'm one in the minority that actually like, don't get mad at me, Iron Man 3. It's a good movie. Now on to my other 4Ks and Blu-rays that I received. So I also got Step Brothers. Big fan of Step Brothers. Had to update. Had a DVD version. Now I got the 4K version. This is in my top five favorite comedies of all time. Love, love, love these two. Too bad uh, Holmes and Watson was so bad. I, 
I walked out of it, if I'm being honest. Uh, next one I got was Cabin in the Woods. Now, this is one of my favorite horror films of all time. It's finally mastered on the 4K. And man, does it look gorgeous on here. I'd only had it on DVD originally, but this is seriously one of the most unique horror films that I have watched in the last couple of years, and it's just a blast. Another film that I've been dying to watch, I have not watched yet, but is So I Married an Axe Murder. Now, I'm a big fan of Mike Myers. He's one of my favorite comedians. I want the guy to come back to the limelight of Hollywood, make another Austin Powers man. But this is one of those films that I've heard is pretty funny, and it's one of the ones that I have not seen in his filmography, so I'm looking forward to watching this. Next one I got is Boogie Nights, another film that I've not seen in my filmography yet. It's a P.T. Anderson film. Again, one of those that I'm surprised I've never seen it, but now I'm really looking forward to it and definitely going to check it out soon. The next one we have is The Legend of Korra. It's part of the Avatar world. Now, I barely watched any of the series. I heard it was excellent. I always told myself, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. I never did. I have the Avatar Last Airbender on Blu-rays. Now I have this, and I cannot wait to get into this because, again... I'm a big fan of the original Avatar, and I, from what I saw in this, I did like. The first season was a little bit slow, and then as I caught up episodes here and there, I did enjoy them for the most part, but I never got super into it yet, but now I'm looking forward to it for a lot of reasons. Um, I got two steelbooks coming up. I have the Venom steelbook, which I did a video separately on in this, the 4K version. Loved Venom for what it was. I thought it was a fun, energetic ride, and though the beginning is totally boring, and I cannot get into it, it's still a fun, entertaining movie for sure. The other steelbook I have gotten is a film that I have not watched yet, another Another one is Stanley Kubrick's 2001's A Space Odyssey. I heard this is one of the best films ever made. I'm definitely looking forward to this. And this steelbook is immaculate. It, it, it's seriously gorgeous. And uh, I want to watch it now. So we picked up Crazy Rich Asians. Now this is one of the big surprise films of the year for me. I love this film top to bottom. It warmed my heart up. Made me want to get married. There's one wedding sequence in the whole film that is absolutely gorgeous cinematography and it's just a really feel good movie overall so got one of my favorite cartoons of all time courage the cowardly dog the whole complete series what an awesome present my mom hooked this up to me and i cannot wait to go back through this i love revisiting my childhood and just showing people who have never gotten the chance to watch courage and even though this show did scare the crap out of me when i was younger i'm looking forward to maybe scaring the crap out of me still so got molly's game i really have not seen this one either um this is kind of a searching theme is that a lot of these films i have not watched yet and molly's game is one of those it's a film that for some damn reason i never got to and i'm really excited to see so Sorkin's directorial debut because I heard this film was brilliant. I also got The Meg on 4K. This was super cheap, so it was like a no brainer to just go and get it on 4K. It was like 12, 15 bucks. I was like, hey, why not? I also picked up Black Swan. Now, I'm a big fan of the director of this, but I've never seen Black Swan. Another one of those films that I missed, and this film was $3.99. So. It's an easy pickup. I had to get it. Searching, one of the most underrated films of this year. If you're a fan of thrillers or mysteries, this is definitely a film that you need to check out. And Mission Impossible Fallout. This is one of my favorite films of the year. One of the past couple of years. I love everything that Tom Cruise does in this. Christopher McQuarrie directed and wrote a fantastic film. And this just seriously is one of the most energetic and high octane adventures that I got. And just seriously, it always blows my mind how damn good this film is. Kind of in the middle on this film. There's some aspects that I really like. And there's some that I absolutely dislike and hate overall. And I just... But my dad liked this film. Uh, it was the first press screening he ever went to me with. I liked the Steelbook. It was on sale. I have all the other Predators on 4K, so it kind of just added up to, I might as well just get it. And I definitely cannot forget to mention Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I finally got this as a Christmas present on Blu-ray. It's a film that I've not watched in a long time, but I'm a big fan of, well, the director who did this, and does not feel like his film at times, but I really did like The Nice Guys, and again, I like Iron Man 3, so kind of a recurring theme that now I have all of his directorial outings which is kind of cool but kiss kiss bang bang is one of those underrated films that no one saw it has robert Downey jr it has val kilmer it's a film that you should not miss out on guys that is my december haul it's my christmas haul again thank you guys so much for watching this i can't wait to hear what you guys got in the month of december for all the holiday affairs and whatnot beginning of a new year is here look out for that blu-ray collection video look out for that pop collection video and just overall look out for a lot more videos this year is i'm planning some high goals that i think i'm planning on doing a live stream to really kind of just do a live q a and overall just vent and let you guys know what goals i have some goals in mind overall is 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year i'm pretty sure we can do that maybe even exceed it who knows things in mind is to become a rotten tomato certified critic that is on the top of the to-do list other ones is to go to two film festivals including tiff 
and I got a couple ones sprinkled in there that I'm not really getting my high hopes for, but I'm hoping maybe will come true. But guys, make sure to look out for that. I'll reiterate those again when the time comes. Thank you guys so much for all the support. You guys are seriously all the best. I would not be here without you. And until next time, stay classy. We'll <laughs>